welcome to another video so this is a continuation of awk part 2 so here uh, if you have not watched uh, the part 1 please watch uh, that is the link is there in the i button so in this video we'll be covering about uh, array uh, how to do and and we'll see how to use if, if else condition and uh, there are a couple of loops like for loop while loop and do while you can also use that in awk there are inbuilt methods like um, you know mathematical inbuilt me you know methods like um, you know sine cosine and um, what is called square root and also there are system time there are other inbuilt methods that we can also see that will be helpful and you can also you know define your own method that if you don't like okay without any delay let's go to the command uh, command prompt and there we can just uh, see how to do array and uh, like single dimension array and multi dimension array okay i have created uh, a file called uh, vira dot you can write something like any extension and the first line is like um, uh, sha bang like hash bang bin awk ok. then note that hyphen f hyphen f is like if even a so it will run if dot if you can just type dot slash this file name it will run it okay so this is the array in the inside the begin section you can write something like my array in square bracket you can write 0 1 or you can also use associative array like you can give, give a key key name like name or temporary name like a key and the value you can assign any value and you can use that so for that um, uh, how to run that you can just uh, do awk hyphen f array dot awk or you can directly run it because we have already defined in the hash bang in the first line you see in the first line we have already defined so you can just run it uh, by dot slash provided that this uh, file has uh, execute permission like plus x ch mode plus is okay so if you do yeah, otherwise you can run uh, awk hyphen f or array dot awk uh, whatever the file you have so it will run the same thing so in this way it is giving the first name if you're trying to print any of the other like retrieve or if you're trying to write um, the value by name okay so this is like um, uh, array and associative array that we have used so similarly you can also use multi-dimensional array like if you have if you remember a matrix it's like two dimensional row and column wise so for that you can pass something like in the square bracket uh, index 1 uh, index 0 comma 1 like the i or j column that you can pass uh, similarly you can also retrieve the value by using the same however you assign you can you can assign you know retrieve it by i or j my array square bracket i this is my i index this is my row and this is my column index so if you try to print then it will also try to retrieve the value so that means you have learned uh, Hmm. array okay now if you were to delete any element from the array you can also do that there is a command concern like delete so once you try to delete that and try to access it after that then you that value won't be there because you have already deleted it so you can you, you can also try that let's try to delete the temporary array the my array with temporary name key so that if you try to access that afterwards it won't be there like the value will be like black or not you won't, you won't get any value of that okay i'm just trying to print before and after so that you can verify it isn't it yes okay i'm deleting it printing it okay and there you go Come back and saving the file before and after. Okay. Try to run it. See, after that, it is gone because I've deleted. So, there way we can uh, delete and uh, reclaim some of the spaces if the R is getting longer. So, we'll try something like if. So, I've created file something like if.awk and there. So, I'm just trying to take an argument uh, from the command line like the score you can if you give me a score between 0 to 100 or uh, beyond that also it will try to give you the grade whether if the value falls between 0 to 50 you will get a grade C grade 
50 to 80 b grade 80 to 90 a and 90 to 100 a plus so you can do that just like other um, if condition if you can also concatenate um, two such logical values logical statement expression either you can use uh, and or 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 for or you can also double pipe you can use so for this case we'll be using and so as you can see if is very simple else if if we want else and then if then else if and after the final you can use else so if you try to run that it will and you need to give an argument something like 45 you can get see the minus square is 45 grade is in uh, c if we are 99 a plus very good pretty intelligent they like excellent b okay b is okay doable okay cool mm. now we'll just try something like uh, oh, there are a couple of loops like if we want to write 100 names uh, sorry 100 such numbers you don't need to write that in uh, 100 times you can do that in uh, a control statement that is a control manner we're using for while or do while that is i think they are in all other languages also starting from c c plus plus or um, Paul python anywhere you, you find that loop okay so this is simple you can write in the single file i have write a written for four so you can uh, if you are writing a single line no need to do extra colibris but if you try to add multiple statements, you can uh, close them in the color brace just like that. And this is the initial. Um, so we'll try for fast and we'll try to run it. So it is trying to rule loop it from one to five. What does it do in the first section? It is like initialization. And the next uh, express statement is like the condition matching. And the last one is the increment value. So while no i think i'm i'm just writing it uh, for the section for while for printing for section and whatever the for while we'll see what it, whether it is printing for while or not so that you know i don't see the duplicate value you cannot uh, distinguish between which is for and which is uh, you know which is written by while so that's why i'm just writing print statement print while okay i think it is all the same thing okay and what does it happen like the uh, in the while uh, the initialization is taken before the while and in the while you are just writing the you know condition inside the block you just increment the i value so that um, it whatever for uh, does in a single line it does in three lines the statement is in three lines okay so it does also same thing if you try to run that okay there's a syntax error i need to print that in uh, begin uh, inside the begin block i can write it uh, outside okay there you go so if you try to do that i think you should get yes for four it is writing from zero, one to five and while also it's writing from one to five okay so for similarly for do while also it's the same thing whether you write it for you know less than uh, six or less than equal to five so it will do the same thing it will do the same thing that uh, i think this is a pretty simple uh, statement mm. okay similarly for our uh, do while also i think it is uh, repetitive please uh, bear with that Mm, it is repetitive in do while and while it is like uh, it will uh, execute the statement first and uh, verify the condition whether the condition is satisfied or not but in while it is different it is try to uh, sat if the condition is satisfied then only the inside block will be executed but in do while it is little bit of tricky first it will try to run it increment then uh, verify whether uh, the condition is matching or not it's like first it will commit the you know crime and after that okay yes, i'm sorry so for in a while it is not that okay i think it will try to print the same thing it is uh, taking a while mm, okay now we can try something else because we have learned something like uh, let's try to if something you know you need to break uh, the while uh, like the loop 
sometimes be, be based upon the condition or some of the logical uh, you know a point you want to break or if you want to continue based upon some criteria or if you want to exit completely out of the room uh, out of the you know program that also you can try that as a control like uh, statement so we'll try with break we will try to break the loop whatever the trend is there there is a break the same in, uh, function what is trying to do it will take total value initialize as 0 the same will, I'll initialize the loop from uh, 0 to 30 so if the total value if you keep on adding the total if the total is 60 then you can just break it otherwise just print the index and the value and the total value are how's the uh, so how far you have you know make the sum okay let's try to print it uh, so I am breaking uh, at which index it is breaking so also you can verify that print statement but provided you should write you should write before break otherwise if you're writing something printing something after break you won't get that statement because it might have already break you know broken from that moment okay see at 11th index it is breaking because the total is going beyond 60 okay similarly you can also try for continue so what happens in this case i am trying to verify with continue that means if the index is or number like print it if it is even then skip it i don't want to print that i don't want to see the face of even i don't like even because i am a fan of odd i am all odd number guy so if you're trying to print that so the index will be printed but continue i'm just trying to pre you know verify whether the continue is executed or not so let's print it without that see i'm just it's printing only even number so that in that case you can also use it so let's suppose you want to print after that that i think it doesn't make sense because it it has already you know okay i will try to print it let's see for your uh, you know practice you know you can see that whether it is working or not continue index why i'm writing it uh, okay continue or um, okay let's try to print it up to that that is what i wanted to tell you it don't print do you think that why why should it print because it will skip that line because continue after continue it has already you know given the what is called the loop to go next okay mm, there you go so we'll try with exit after that so we have tried break we have let's try to exit out of the program okay similarly if the total is 60 instead of breaking let's try to exit it with uh, there is a something like method called exit so we need to pass uh, the argument something like two or you can give any any number so that the return code you can capture it of your purpose if the return code is two then you can decide take some other uh, you know decision that's right let's try to print exit code so that for uh, debugging purposes it will be easier exit okay so at the index it is exiting out of it with a return code of return code of 2 because we have passed that information as 2 so let's try to echo that return code return code for that in, in like uh, dollar and question mark it will return as 2 you can also change to any number like let's try with 99 okay 99 also you can check that we'll try to run not echo yes and it will run that and after that it it might have you know returned with 99 there you go okay so we have learned how to break it now let's try to there is also pipe just like we're in a, let's try something like pipe and there are also you can redirect with uh, you know append mode or uh, only concatenate mode like um, greater than style or double greater than style okay and we'll be using uh, you know pipe how to use pipe in awk so we'll just like in echo you might have already tried something like echo how are you some string you can translate that from small number to cap uh, uppercase like 
this is the way you can use pipe then translate tr translate from small to capital there you go all the output has been uppercase so for that we'll try that in awk so we'll do just instead of writing a script we can write it in the single line here in the common line begin begin and inside the color library sprint how are you in quotation and then pipe inside quotation mark the difference inside quotation pipe and inside quotation you can write everything like uh, translate a to z small a, uh, small case a to z and capital case a to z so it will do the same purpose that we have already done in you know bash well, like echo the translate okay so similarly you can use uh, redirect something like uh, you know greater than or double greater than that is like writing a file fresh or appending the file with existing file that also you can try it out okay and let's um, you can also do you know reverse the thing here like from upper case to small case that also you can do oh, oh what did i do it is hanging okay let, let me let it settle down okay there you go it's gone mm. Okay, now I have learned uh, what I have learned array if like the condition if else and the loops how to exit up the out of the loops and how to use pipe pipe redirection. Okay, now let's try with something like inbuilt function. There are uh, so many inbuilt functions. You can also use you know manual of uh, awk or you can Google through. So we'll just try with uh, pop, you know few popular. Um, inbuilt from methods so this is the first variable so i have created a statement so i want to find out what is the variable the length of the variable like the index if you want to find any specific word inside the statement also you can find where it is there okay there you go the length of the total statement is 37 number of characters you can also use the index like my variable where is the age the string is is there i think yeah you can do the as is also there in the statement if it is there it will return value if it is not there it will return zero or something like that hmm. so that means the value is there the pattern that you can also use if the value is not a match you can also for match you can use you know regular expression like starting from name dot star is like a long you can use dot star means any character followed by any any number of uh, characters dot star and till edge till it founds it till it finds edge so that the character is there see this that character is starting from a name here after first the name whatever i have highlighted from name till s that is the name dot star is that means that character is starting from in so it is giving the index of um, that uh, character that is there inside the regular expression that index is six that's right so printing six similarly you can also use g sub g sub means um, like um, you can substitute your name this is the like find initial pattern and substitute with some name the string which you want to substitute and what is the variable so if you're trying to print that it will try to okay it it has substituted but uh, let's try to print uh, after sub after substitution what is the value final value so i think uh, it might have already replaced the pattern with capital name underscore edge let's see that okay there also we can end the same in comments or prime multiple times you can use two uppercase to lowercase also hmm. see the final variable it is printing my first name is like starting from name till s it has replaced with capital name underscore s Hmm. so in some of the scenario you can use that g sub and to lower also you can use to lower so it will convert everything to lowercase to upper also it will convert to uppercase that is pretty simple so um, there are a couple of inbuilt methods also we'll try it in command line instead of writing in a file and coming back again so that um, that is not making uh, you know that is taking a uh, uh, some time so we'll try it here on the command line express so this is like exponential 
e to the power 5 log log 5 this is the value we can use logarithmic some random number no need to pass any argument it is giving random number okay the same oh this is pretty strange the random number should give a uh, different value each time you run hmm i think there seems to be some trick in that no it doesn't take any argument also either okay okay we'll see why it is the random values be you know giving uh, the same value all the time okay so you can try the square root square root of 81 is how much or 25 is how much 5 you can also try something like um, a system time what is the current time if you want to team that is you know from epoch second it will give you in seconds from epoch time epoch time is like 1970 uh, jan first midnight so from that how many seconds has that has been passed till now so make time is like if you try to print you can pass uh, the value like any date you can pass like year month date hour minute second then it will give you how many number of epochs that has been passed from uh, you know epoch so that you can uh, con once you get the second then you can do some of the calculations like how much the date difference or that sort of thing if you want to use oh there is another um, thing you can also try um, okay how come it's taking little bit of uh, time uh, is it hanged okay come on wake up mm, wake up okay okay I, I just wanted to tell that um, you can also use any formatted date from the system time you can use the system time and pass use the, with the help of string to formatted time string to formatted time string format and time so you can uh, use the format anything like percentile y just like the date command in unix so you can pass the same argument like percentile m percentile d percentile capital h capital m or, and then capital s then you can pass the system argument what's the system time that we have already used in the top line so this is my format that i want to print in the you know, string format time and you can use whatever the value like the epoch second so it will be give you that okay there are so many other um, things i think i'm taking a lot of uh, time this is getting lengthier so i'll just uh, within few seconds i will just uh, help you with how to write a user defined method like adding two numbers okay although well, this is not helping today at all so it is uh, hanging all the time hmm okay so open something like r number so for writing a method what you can do you can write function then the method name then whatever the parameter it is trying to take if you want to use the parameter use it and if you want to return something return it like it is returning the total of value the numbers that you are passing okay in the inside begin you can just take two numbers from the command line argument and try to print it by using add use the method add this is not as you know user defined like the inbuilt method so i am just written it so you need to pass two argument uh, and numbers 12 13 yes, so it's print don't you do you can try all the numbers also it will try to give uh, the correct value okay there you go that that means i am trying to use negative numbers so that you can also use that thing okay so there you go thanks for watching thanks for your time stay tuned for upcoming videos bye bye